the weather's a little boring this week, so why not spice it up with some trivia, which I know Shay loves and we love. Playing the buffaloes. Oh, oh, you want? Oh, okay. you have another one. I do. Let's go with yours though. Okay. What is it? I don't know how fast can a buffalo how run. How fast can a buffalo <laughs> run? How many miles an hour? Um, maybe twenty. <laughs> I wish there was like an ejection chair or something <laughs> exciting. No, like, we need her to do well. Water, 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 that's true. That's you know true. what? I, can I guess one more time? Yeah, yeah. 35 miles per hour. <laughs> I think you can see Sean's computer. <laughs> no. But I yes, cheated. very good, Shay. You get good to eyesight. stay and do weather, you lucky girl. No water is going to pour on <laughs> no me. No water. Okay, good. The slime. <laughs> All right, here's the three things you need to know for today other than a buffalo can run 35 miles per hour. <laughs> Most of us will stay dry. Places like Cochise County and Graham County could see some isolated activity thanks to the tropical moisture moving in, but most of that moisture is going to stay to the east of us. Uh, and I'll show you that right after this. Cool mornings, warm afternoons will be the trend the next few days. Uh, here's a look at Narda. Right now it is a tropical depression. Earlier this morning it was still holding on to stro uh, tropical storm strength, but it has weakened. Uh, most of this moisture however, is moving into places like New Mexico, the Plains and the Midwest just because uh, low pressure to the northwest, high pressure to the southeast is acting like a conveyor belt and is pushing all that moisture into those spots. That's why we have uh, flash flood watches from Me uh, New Mexico all the way up into the Plains and even Midwest here in southern Arizona, though nothing. We're staying pretty dry for today, but notice some of that moisture is kind of creeping into the southeastern most parts of the state along the New Mexico border, too. So. We're not going to stay completely dry over the next couple of days, but looking at how much rainfall we could pick up. This is our GFS raincast, and this is up until 11 PM on Friday. You can see the heaviest amounts look to be towards eastern New Mexico, where we could see up to four inches of rain. But this model has been a little bit aggressive the last couple of days. Uh, the European raincast uh, showing a little bit less, about two and a half inches possible for eastern New Mexico. But what they're both in agreement with is the heaviest totals will be towards the east of us, towards eastern New Mexico with half inch totals or less for eastern uh, Arizona and to the southeast as well, keeping Tucson actually completely dry. But we could see some isolated showers um, towards Thursday and Friday. But most of us here in Tucson will stay dry. Looking at your high res future cast, most of the rainfall will continue to get pushed into New Mexico, the Plains and the Midwest. I do think that this rainfall uh, forecast is uh, showing a little bit uh, too much rain towards the afternoon, showing scattered activity. I do think it'll be more isolated towards Santa Cruz, Cochise County and Graham County, but nonetheless, we could still see some rainfall in the forecast for today. Most of the rainfall amounts will be light for today too. Current temperatures right now, this is the other big story. You might even need a jacket here in Tucson. It's a little bit chilly out there. We're at 57 in Sierra Vista, again, 61 in Tucson, 59 up in Casa Grande and in Ajo, 28 degrees up at the Grand Canyon. So we are below freezing there. So a very chilly start to the first day of October. Of course, the afternoons, though, will be warm. Upper 80s for Metro Tucson, the mountains low 60s, Santa Cruz County and Cochise County in the low 80s, with only about a 10% chance for Cochise County for rain today. Looking at your Seven day forecast. We'll see a little bit of moisture from Narda by Thursday and Friday here in Tucson, but even our chance for rain looks pretty uh, isolated with only about a 10 to 20% chance. Temperatures in the low 90s, overnight lows in the 60s, so cool in the mornings, warm in the afternoons the next several days. That is a check of weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at traffic now this morning.